I play Michael Myers. No, I'm saying, I play <laughs> Michael, uh, who is a journalist, uh, who is um, writing a story on May's mom, which he doesn't really know at first, and then he kind of meets up with her, and then this uh, love affair tends to or unravels eventually. And I play May, whose mother is the subject of his story. She had a distant relationship with her mother, who's recently passed, and she finds a photograph uh, that explains her mother's uh, own past decisions while simultaneously getting to know this fine gentleman of a journalist. Talk about fine. You guys have this like beautiful nugget of romance landing in theaters on Valentine's Day. What are you most excited for audiences to experience? I think just a, a beautiful love story. I think, you know, a black love story specifically, we've been missing that for a while um, a, as such without the elements of like horror or, or uh, the thriller element or all these other things. I think it's just, it's just a pure love story. What was it like showing up on set to a predominantly African-American set? That's the norm for me. Yeah, yeah, me too. Love I'm it. lucky enough to say I've been on enough. And I do love when that's the case, because you know it's just a familiar thing, and you gonna, you're gonna be on some all-white sets. You ain't got to worry about that. So being on a black one is quite nice, and you know, it's like, you know, we all understand each other, you know, at least to some degree. What was Stella like as a writer and a director? Stella's phenomenal. You can tell she has so much fun doing what she does, and she, is very particular, very specific in a way that I think is her strength, is just knowing um, the story and the world that she <laughs> wants to create. And I think that, you know, it was, it was so much fun to work with her, an eye-opening. You guys have New York and New Orleans in this movie, both places that have had crazy, devastating hurricanes, and yet you mm. guys took a hurricane and you made it real sensual. <laughs> Can you tell me a little bit more about shooting those scenes and also what that was like? Um, it was it was exciting. It was cool. It was it was, it was a chaotic uh, experience, which I find is kind of fun. You know, like when you're a kid and the thunder hit you, like, you know, it's a kind of a, a fun thing to play around with. Being on the set and having that environment too, I think for me, created a mood that was really fun and warm feeling. And uh, having the hurricane as a backdrop is really a serious thing out there. Like learning. Like you'll drive by and see the houses up on these crazy giant uh, stilts to avoid the water, the flood water when it comes through. And talking to the residents there about it and the drivers who were helping us get to and from set, telling us their experiences about living in a place that was sort of as, uh, could be catastrophic in, in an instant. It just felt like, damn, we were, you know, there for, it, it felt cool to bring a story to life that come out of a place that's been through so much. And still at the end of, a, at the, end of the day, people still in the streets playing music, feeling mm -hmm. good, mm -hmm. still falling in love. So, so it was dope. Are you braver in your love life or your work life? <laughs> Definitely braver in my work life, unfortunately. I'd like to be braver in my love life. I think so. I think I'm braver in my work life as well. I am trying to be braver in the love life, you know, trying to bleed it over. But yeah, work is, 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 is it, for a lot of reasons, could be easier to be crazy. Kendrick or Drake? <laughs> Kendrick. Drake. <laughs> Why? I mean, there's really no. <laughs> There's no competition. We really had this argument in real life. I mean, yeah. he's a real Kendrick stan, and I really respect Kendrick, but I'm a Drake stan till I die. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I, I definitely, I mess with Drake as well, but nah, Kendrick to me is just, uh, his lyricism touched me in a, in, a, in a different place, you know, right? So, yeah. Drake's a vulnerability. He's a vulnerable person, and mm -hmm. who else can do that like him? He's not afraid to be corny. He's not afraid to be, to put his heart on his sleeve, and talk about his mistakes. He's just an everyman. 